morning. It's just nice out here. Hear all the birds singing. Working my way around where I think there's usually a good promise of an egret in this little spot that I usually go to. So I'm going to work my way around to that little spot. Excuse the noise. I'm about, oh, I don't know, four miles from the airport, so you hear planes taking off. Not too far from the main road, so we have noisy traffic. I feel bad for these poor little birds here. I'm keeping my eye on the right here because there's little tiny openings in the uh, vegetation, so. So a rabbit just jumped out in front of me and froze. So, no time to do video, I've got to get my other camera here get some pictures quickly before this little rascal moves. I've got my video camera on my tripod here but I'm fearful if I move too much equipment around he's gonna move so quick couple of photographs here. Well thank you for your patience I was able to get some photographs. I have to look at them later on though. Alright so let me show you I'm gonna back up here I'm gonna show you how it is here where you see the little opening. So I'm gonna walk back and uh, show you. Right, so typically when we walk along, we, we come along here and you have to keep your eyes open because then all of a sudden you have these little openings here. Ducks and coots like to hang out in these little algae uh, ponds. They tend to like to feed in there, especially the coots. So those are the spots where I like to kind of peek into. I'll return to them. Oh, there was a duck going in there right now. See? So if you know the places where they like, you can sometimes get a shot. But as you can see, we have very limited um, access. And I'm not allowed to go down in there. Um, we, we can't go beyond where I am right now. As a, it's a little wooden railing here and I've got to respect um, the limited access. They don't want us disturbing in case there's any nest down there. And you see there's another little spot there but you can see there's if you see something, you have to kind of work your angles to get a photograph. These are favorite little spots for ducks as well, because they, they can hide their young in there. But anyway, we're going to move on. Nice open area here. I just saw some activity over there. Now you can hear activity as well. I hope you can hear it above the traffic behind me. saw a couple of birds just before I switched on the uh, camera I saw a couple of birds taking off and flying over to my left I'm not seeing any activity now but that's the place where you're going to get a lot of activity this is where I'll be using my telephoto This is a spot where there's often egrets and herons, but it's really tricky to, let's see if I can get you. It's really tricky to photograph through there. There's another spot here. I'm gonna hang around to see if I can spot one. Um, maybe, maybe not. Uh, I can come here half a dozen times and never see one.
I just spotted a great blue heron, uh, but I'm probably going to have to move to get a better angle. Yeah, I may have to shoot through some vegetation. Moved further down the trail, and uh, I found a couple of American coots. Looks like they haven't spotted me. I'm actually quite a distance from them. I'm, I've got a long telephoto on them, so we should be fine. I'm not going to get any closer. I'm just going to stay where I am. So we'll watch these couple of chaps for a while. Now experienced birders will know that coots are not part of the duck family, they are rails. Uh, but if you didn't know that, now you know. I've changed positions and uh, one of the coots has left the water and he or she is uh, preening. So we have a nice close up view of one of the coots. Two little birds were flying in front of me then going from tree to tree. Can you spot them? I had just a couple of seconds before they flew off. Here's the second photo. I found a cormorant. Now let's wait a little while see if I can get a photo of him spreading his wings. We hear some traffic. There's a road actually behind me. Bit of a shame really. They save these wetlands to uh, protect these uh, birds here. Last bit of remaining wetlands we have here near the marina. Got a duck out there enjoying himself in the early morning. Typical June weather, the marine layer stays in until midday. The sun doesn't really break through the marine layer or the clouds until midday or early afternoon. Well, here comes the second one. keep moving my camera because they're moving around. Oh, there's more now. There's, see here, one, two, three, there's four of now. See, they're very active early in the morning. And there's one off to my right, out of frame. You can't see him. But he's behind the tree anyhow, so I couldn't even get a shot. Oh, oh my gosh. There's two right up close to me. Okay, I'm going to turn this off and see if... There they are. That was a noise I heard. I thought they were actually out of the shot, but they were really close to me. 
don't know if this camera is not as good at focusing as my other one, so I don't know if I'm focusing that well. Okay, they're going to go out of the shot pretty soon. I'm going to move back over to the other ones because they're more in the open. about 20 more minutes down the trail and I've uh, just got another American coot in the distance. It's out there swing amongst the algae. Egret here. Looks quite spectacular. This part of the trail uh, loops around and uh, is quite close to the road. I feel bad for these birds having to put up with this noise. Got his eye on something. There he goes. I've returned to this location because I passed this earlier this morning and took a few photographs. Uh, it caught my eye through the uh, trees. I saw a group of what I thought were a lot of ducks, but it turned out to be uh, ducklings, babies, uh, being protected by the mother. And they were very well camouflaged, and now I see they're on the move. The mother's herding the offspring out into the open water, probably to feed, so I'm going to keep an eye on them for a little while. That's a good little spot she's got there. It's really hard to spot them. It's probably a nest she has in there. And they probably stay in there and only go out to feed every once in a while. This is the photograph I took earlier that prompted me to return.
Looks like the mother's the one on the far right and the chicks are over on the left. Looks like she's not going anywhere, so I'm going to move down the trail. This little chap landed on a railing while I was walking on the trail. He was, just, he was gone just as quick as he arrived. There it is, right there. Boy, you can hardly see it. Right there. And I think there's another one if I pan left. Which you probably won't be able to see. Yeah, you won't be able to see it. It's, it's right there. Boy, it camouflaged so well. Oh. And let's go back to this one. Mm. You might want. I'm going to back off because it could be looking after some chicks. So I'm going to back off. Ah, that's a black crown night heron. This is another fenced off area for pipes that uh, manage the irrigation. I'm going to have to adjust my settings so that the uh, fence doesn't show up in the photo. That's a juvenile. They look a lot different when they're adults. Uh oh, the bird's turning around. And it's on the move. Better be quick. Managed to get a few decent photographs. Here's a couple. It wants to get out of the reeds, but there's a larger bird you can't see, it's out of the frame. It's uh, blocking the way right now. There's a duck and some little babies out there. I'm going to keep very quiet, I don't want to disturb them. Let me see, there's one, two, three, four, five, I count five little chicks out there. I'm going to keep very, very still. You don't seem to be disturbed by my presence. The moment you see any animals, 
disturbed just when you want to back off. It's not worth getting a photograph if you're disturbing nature. You can see they're coming in my direction so they're not the slightest bit disturbed. I saw the egrex flying towards the um, ocean this morning. They probably went off for some fish. Oh, there's one right there. sound you hear that's a coot, an American coot. I saw a few of those earlier. There's actually two just around the corner there. I saw them earlier. Okay, so I'm now going to ease back slowly. The way it is, we often can hear the birds, but it's seeing them is a tricky bit. I'm very close, but can't see them. Just left its chicks. Probably get some food for itself. It's probably put the chicks somewhere safe. some splashing just now when I came up on this spot so I'm gonna wait here for a little while it's just a few openings here I might better get a shot yep they're out there Got one right down here. Can you see him? I'm gonna get my other video camera which has a longer lens. You know, as I was setting up my other camera, off he went. So much for that. Couldn't even get a photograph. 
looks like a great tail crackle. three hours, well, actually probably about three hours now. So I think we'll start heading back. Thank you for tuning in. Very productive morning. Early start. I think I'll get up around 5.30. Fortunately this place is not too far from where I live. So uh, easy to get to. And we uh, didn't have too bad a morning. Got to see Quite a bit of wildlife. It's a bit of hit or miss down here. Some of it's a bit hard to find. The places where you can see the wildlife are few and far between and, and even then you can't even guarantee you're going to see something. So you have to come here quite a few times to get uh, the shot and uh, the angle is not always the best. So uh, it's a good place to come just to kind of get away from it all and uh, enjoy a break to get outside so i'll take it any day of the week all right so thanks for tuning in thanks for following along and see you again soon all right take care everyone be well oh yes did you uh remember to hit that like button and if you like more of this content, don't forget, subscribe. See you all. Bye now.